Hi guys, <clears throat> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything on this postcard perfect. It is a, what are we, Thursday, September 5th, 2024. And sometimes, guys... You, you, you know, just the plain old mainstream media is as good a place as any to uh, chronicle the collapse of a planet. And this is coming right out from Associated Press <clears throat> with this uh, very confusing headline and story from one of my favorite mainstream media doomer journalist Seth Borenstein. I've been reading Seth stuff from the... Seth gets away with more hopium-free reporting than uh, about anybody else I found on the mainstream media. So I, I have no idea <coughs> what is going on with this headline uh, or this story uh, because Seth doesn't explain it. Uh, the editors don't explain this. So anyway, I'm going to read the, uh, the headline. Uh, and the first sentence. And then we're going to jump to the very last paragraph. So the headline... The world is pumping out 57 million tons of plastic pollution per year. And I'm thinking, what? 57 million tons? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, this planet, uh, hell, I'm, I am pumping out uh, 1 million tons of plastic pollution uh, myself. Uh, 57 million tons, unadulterated horseshit. Here we go again. The world creates 57 million tons of plastic pollution every year and spreads it from the deepest oceans to the highest mountaintop to the inside of people's bodies, according to a new study that also said more than two-thirds of it comes from the global south, meaning, you know, all of those uh, poor people uh, who uh, are doing nothing uh, to, you know, to uh, kill the planet, those innocent poor people. Uh, we'll get back to that. Then the very last paragraph, I'm just going to sit here and read this story. I'll put the link on to it, but the very last paragraph says the United Nations projects that plastic production is likely to rise. Okay, now I finally get it. But 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 e even uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, all right. The, the, the sentence in the last one, the last paragraph says the United Nations projects that plastic production is likely to rise from about 440 million tons other, or 400 million metric tons per year to more than 1,200 million tons, 1.2 billion tons or 1.1 million metric tons saying our planet is choking in plastic. So I go on to that link in the very last uh, paragraph and uh, the, uh, the, the UN report uh, Right here. Today, we produce about 400 million tons of plastic waste every year. 
Okay, so somebody is crazy. You know, I just don't get it. The sloppy journalism here. Right here, Seth and AP, the United Nations projects that plastic production, which sounds like all of the uh, plastic that's produced, and, and, and so, then it, so then it's saying, so what are you supposed to gather from this that we're producing for uh, that we're producing 400 million tons uh, uh, of plastic every year, which is more than one million tons every single day of the year. That uh, in 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 only in, in, in less than one sixth of that. Uh, it, 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 just ends up getting dumped onto this planet. There, there, there's something inherently wrong about this. And then, as I say, you go on uh, to the UN, and, and it says 400 million tons of plastic waste. Uh, so make up your own mind. 57 million tons, or uh, 400 million tons. Uh, who, who the hell knows? Um, uh, but we, it is safe to say we are choking in, in plastic, uh, but the important thing is, uh, that the, the plastic production was, uh, on this planet is supposed to triple, is supposed to triple uh, by the year 2050. So uh, look, look at the plastic on this planet and triple that by 2050 and uh, do your own math. Um, anyway, so uh, we're, we're, we're just, we're just going to read the, this article with, with a big old grain of salt. The world creates 57 million tons of plastic pollution every year and spreads it from the deepest oceans to the highest mountaintop to the inside of people's bodies. According to a new study that also said more than two-thirds of it comes from the global south, it is enough pollution each year, about 52 million metric tons, to fill New York City's Central Park with plastic waste as high as the Empire State Building, according to researchers at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom. They examined, okay, th 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 this, th this is, uh, okay, now we're finding out how we got from 400 million down to, down to 57 million. They examined waste produced at the local level at more than 50,000 cities and towns across the world for a study in Wednesday's journal Nature. The, the study examined plastic that goes into the open environment. Okay, okay, uh, now we're getting to, uh, to this, the study examined, I would say, only the plastic that goes into the open environment uh, in more than 50,000 cities and towns. That's how they get it uh, from 400 million down to 57 million. Uh, Okay, uh, it did not look at plastic that goes into landfills, which is the vast majority of it, or is properly burned, and I don't even want to know what that means. Uh, just last night I was smelling my next door neighbor who's right on the other side of this view here burning uh, plastic in their fire pit. 
Okay. For 15% of the world's population, government fails to collect and dispose of waste. The study's author said a big reason that Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa produce the most plastic waste, you, you know, that is just dumped on the ground. That includes 255 million people in India alone, the study said. Okay, <clears throat> what city <clears throat> on this planet gets the award for emitting the most plastic pollution of any city on this planet? And uh, a little hint here. Uh, I have been uh, calling this city the poster child of the collapse of a planet and a snapshot of what the rest of this planet is going to look like. Okay, Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria emitted the most plastic pollution of the any city on planet Earth, according to study author Costas Velas, a Leeds environmental engineering professor. The other biggest plastic polluting cities are, wow, New Delhi, India, Luanda, Angola, never heard of it, Karachi, Pakistan, and al Kahira, Egypt. And this is not surprising at all. The shithole country of India, which of course is the world's most populated country, leads the world in generating plastic pollution. You know, and remember, they're just talking about the, that's just, just dumped on the ground or just uh, burned in open pits, uh, producing 10.2 million tons per year, far more than double the next biggest polluting, the next big polluting nations, Nigeria and Indonesia. I, I love this next sentence uh, for the knee slapper of the year. China, China, often villainized for pollution, ranks fourth, but China is making tremendous strides in reducing waste. Yes, Vela said. Other top plastic polluters are Pakistan, Bangladesh, Russia, and Brazil. Those eight nations are responsible for more than half of the globe's plastic pollution, according to the study's data. The United States ranks 90th in plastic pollution with more than 52,500 tons. So, uh, that's 1,000 tons of plastic or just, you know, just being dumped on the ground here in the U.S. And the United Kingdom uh, ranks 135th with nearly 5,100 tons, according to the study. Here we go, and uh, th this is probably going to be uh, mentioned again briefly in my Ain't Gonna Happen Roundup rant. In 2022, most of the world's nations agreed to make the first legally binding treaty on plastic pollution, including in the oceans. Final treaty negotiations take place in South Korea in November, and there you go, the United Nations that will take care of this problem. Uh, anyway, back to the study. The study used artificial intelligence, okay, 
to concentrate on plastic on plastics that were improperly burned which was accounted for about 57 percent of the plastic pollution or just dumped in both cases incredibly tiny microplastics or nanoplastics or what turned the problem from a visual annoyance, a visual annoyance at beaches and a marine life problem to a human health threat, Vela said. Several studies this year have looked at how prevalent microplastics are in our drinking water and in people's tissues, such as hearts, brains, and testicles, with doctors and scientists still not quite sure what it means in terms of human health threats, said study author Vellis. The big time bomb of microplastics are these microplastics released in the global south, mainly, Vellis said. We already have a huge dispersal problem they are in the most remote places, the peaks of Everest, the, in the Mara Nara Trench in the ocean, and what we breathe, what we eat, and what we drink, close quote. He called it, quote, everybody's problem, and one that will haunt future generations, said Vellis. We should not put the blame, any blame, on the global south. There you go. We should not put any blame, you, you know, uh, on, on anybody living in Lagos, Nigeria, uh, or New Delhi, India, or uh, Karachi, Pakistan. Uh, they deserve zero blame for this. Zero blame. There you go. And we should not praise ourselves about what we do in the global north in any way. Yes. Vela said, it is just a lack of resources and ability of government to provide the necessary service to citizens. Nowhere... Uh, does it mention it is just a lack uh, uh, of these uh, breeding like flies, maggots in the global south uh, having an inability to keep their peckers in their pants and uh, not let their knickers down. A person who is never born uh, I will agree you cannot blame any of this on anybody who is never born. There you go. Okay. <coughs> Outside experts worry that the studies focus on just the pollution. Okay, now I'm liking it better. You go said that outside experts worry that the studies focus on, you know, these, just these measly little 57 million tons of uh, technically, semantically worded pollution rather than overall production lets the plastic industry off the hook. Making plastics emits large amounts of greenhouse gas that contribute to climate change. Uh, this is Neil Tangri, Senior Director of Science and Policy at Gaia, a global network of advocacy organizations, blah, blah, blah. Quote, these guys, meaning uh, the, the study only looking at, at less than one-sixth of the problem, completely ignoring uh, five, six of the problem. These guys 
have defined plastic pollution in a much narrower way as really just microplastics that are emitted into the environment after the consumer and it risks us losing our focus on the upstream and saying, hey, now all we need to do is manage the waste better. That is necessary, but it is not the whole story, close quote. No, it is one-sixth of the story. Uh, Teresa Carlson, Science and Technical Advisor to International Pollutants Elimination Network, uh, called the volume of pollution identified by the study alarming and said it shows the amount of plastic being produced today is unimaginable. But she said the study misses the significance of the global, the global trade in plastic waste that has rich countries sending it to poor ones. The study said plastic waste trade is decreasing with China banning waste imports. But Carlson said overall waste trade is actually increasing and likely plastics with it, she cited European Union waste exports going from 100,000, 110,000 tons in 2004 to 1.4 million tons in 2021. Study author Vela said the amount of plastic waste traded is small. Kara Lavender Law, an ocean oceanography professor who wasn't involved in the study, agreed. Uh, she said this was otherwise one of the more comprehensive studies on plastic waste. And so how do you think officials in the plastic industry responded to this study that 57 million tons, uh, which is a small fragment uh, of the 440 million tons, uh, are, are, are just being dumped on the ground or burned in open pits. Officials in the plastic industry praised the study. Quote, this study, this is Chris John, Council Secretary for the International Council on Chemical Associations. Quote, this study underscores that uncollected and unmanaged plastic waste is the largest contributor to plastic pollution and that prioritizing adequate waste management, you know, in Nigeria and Pakistan, there you go, is critical to ending plastic pollution. Yes. In the, you know, the, these upcoming UN plastics treaty negotiations, the industry opposes a cap on plastic production. And then this is where we finally get to that bullshit uh, last paragraph uh, stating that the United Nations projects that plastic produc production, not plastic waste as what they say when you click on the link, is likely to rise from about 440 million tons to more than 1,200 million tons, saying, quote, our planet is choking in plastic. There you go, but I'm gonna...
<clears throat> wrap up this rant on this plastic camera, I'm going to take the plastic video card out of the plastic camera and uh, insert it into my plastic computer so I can uh, send out this rant while I still can. Bye guys.